It's the showdown in Ukraine that's helping to drive prices higher now. Tesla starting at just $59,990. The report released today has found that our city has the sixth worst commute on the planet. Solving the transportation crisis is easy. No, we don't have to crack hyperloops or hydrogen. We just need to realize that using a 4,000 pound box to move a 200 pound man is never gonna be efficient. And can you think of a smaller footprint that still holds your stuff, keeps you dry, and goes A to B on a regular driver's license? I can think of three billion. The scooter commuter is only a new idea in the new world. So in the interest of solving our congestion, pollution, affordability, and density crises all at once, let's cast a car driver's eye on three legendary scoots. Vespa is all chrome and glass and curves. Everything mechanical is hidden. Everything practical is tucked into the fold. It's an Italian handbag, which means that the vacuum peacock leaks, the head bearings are shot, the key needs to be actively fondled to turn the bike on, and this little screen, clock, trip meter, I don't know, because it never worked since I bought it. Honda's ruckus is the opposite. Nothing is hidden. Nothing is stylized. But everything works. Look at this horn, it's hung on like Mr. Potato Head's nutsack, but... Right? And... It's like the motor can't wait to run. And Honda is one refinement away from a sentient engine. I'm sorry, Brian. I'm afraid I can't do that. Finally, the Aprilia SR50. They say it looks like a supermoto, though I'm not so sure. What I do know is that it has motorcycle tires, motorcycle discs, motorcycle calipers. If you want to feel a motorbike without a motorbike license, this is as close as it gets. But scooters are more about replacing a car, so let's stick with car driver concerns. Nope, none of the inanimate objects care that I have a penis. Here in North America, we need trucks for hauling all that freedom we farm. But check this out. Our Aprilia holds 12 Starbucks cups. The Vespa holds 15 Starbucks cups under the seat, plus seven McChickens in the glove box, and Timmy's practice ball on the bag hook. That puts the content of your average Escalade to shame. Our ruckus, however, cannot be recommended for storage. All it offers is this underseat slot, which fits one $20 bill. So on the bicentennial occasion when you move a sofa, you can use this to rent a U-Haul. Kinda. And definitely on the ruckus, with its tiny tombstone of a weather shield. The ruck is also so cramped that to turn, one must assume a gynecological position. And that stretches crotches faster than a Boy Scout screening of Baywatch. Aprilia protects my pants best with its aerodynamic fairing. It rains 200 days a year in Vancouver with a jacket and Aprilia and few stops, I usually arrive dry. Those grippy motorcycle tires keep making me burn holes in my knees though. So pros and cons. The Vespa is too heavy, too much metal. The Aprilia is too flimsy, 
its plastics are made from old calculators. But. Beer tubing, baby. It's strong, light, and easiest to chuck around. Ah, this is Connor. He is exactly my weight. And this is Augustine. He's exactly our weight after eating seven McChickens. Vespas are fastest, because many of them are two strokes. They bang and blow every two strokes, producing a steady outflow of power and a steadier outflow of gasoline. This hasn't passed emissions since the 90s. Today's Swedish children require last-minute fuel injection once the exhaust port is nearly blocked. But electronics are costly, and scooters mustn't be. So Piaggio invented a doubly genius carburetor for the European market. One passage flows pure air to flush the exhaust. Another flows hyper-rich fuel, sucked at 70 psi just before ignition by a tiny secondary crankshaft. Powerful yet clean. Purely mechanical yet precise injection. This allowed Vespa to keep making two strokes until 2017. It's called the Hyper 2. It's arguably the most important engine of the 21st century. She might top out at 70, but more people go more places more quickly on these than anything. Split lanes, scoot ahead of traffic, park on the sidewalk. If I tried this on my Harley, I'd be public enemy number one. But on the Vespa, I'm Malibu Barbie. And I'm always on time. We spent two weeks riding and filming for $12 on the Vespa. That is cheap. Ah, never mind. $8 on the Aprilia. Five bucks? Could snort more than that. 120 smiles per gallon is the same efficiency as an electric car for 1 50th of the buy-in price. And to get a scooter, you won't even have to sell the old box. Just whenever you can, think outside of it. <laughs> 